Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas just hits different. From the minute you pull up, you'd feel this elegant yet modern and hip vibe that you just don't get elsewhere in Las Vegas. I'm Alyssa with Up Up In Our Way, and in today's video, I'm going to take you through two different room types, a one bedroom suite and a terrace suite, both of them overlooking the Bellagio fountains. But first, let's have a look at some other amenities of the hotel, starting with the restaurants. So the cool thing about the Cosmopolitan is the enormous amount of restaurants that you can choose from. What I really like about the restaurant options at Cosmo is that there are options for every budget type. So here's block 16, which is sort of like a big food court, although a little bit more hip and modern than your typical food court. And you have places like Egg Slut, which you can go get an amazing breakfast. I'm not saying it's super cheap, but it's gonna be cheaper than a lot of the sit-down restaurants on the Strip. And one thing we like to do is go grab some pizza from Secret Pizza and take it on our balcony to eat. On our most recent trip, we stopped at China Poblano, which is Jose Andres's take on Mexican food and Chinese food all together. That's right, noodles and tacos. We also got this sticky rice, which actually wasn't rice. It was a cool dessert though, it was so tasty. And then there's the Henry. The Henry is a really great spot to grab some breakfast, but this is also a very popular place to come for late night eat. So if you wanna get something late at night and wanna really chow down on breakfast or nachos, whatever you may feel like, it's a great place to come. But there are a ton of restaurant options here at the Cosmopolitan. This is one of the pool areas. So there are two pools. There is the Chelsea pool, which is what you see here, and the Boulevard pool. The Chelsea pool is the quieter pool and the Boulevard pool is the party pool. What you'll notice walking around Cosmo is all the quirky little decor that they have. So I loved exploring and finding all of the fun things that they have sitting around. It's very Instagrammable, I must say. And even when you go up to your elevator, you're going to find some little artwork. And when you get to the top of your floor, you find more cool features. It's just something very unique and special, I think, for the Cosmopolitan. So onto the rooms. Both of these rooms are going to be in the Chelsea Tower. The Chelsea Tower is closest to the hotel registration and parking, but the Boulevard Tower is closest to the Las Vegas Strip. All right, so we're gonna start with the one bedroom suite. obviously really great but one thing I really love about Cosmo is that there is ta-da an empty fridge so you can go buy drinks or bring your drinks along and put them in the fridge the tablet that you see here will allow you to order room service make reservations change room settings so it's a nice feature to have Bathrooms at the Cosmopolitan are very well designed, have all the amenities you need, but the one thing that stands out about this particular bathroom is that there is a Japanese soaking tub with a view of the strip. How can you go around there?
sliding door in the bedroom so you can close it off from the rest of the room so if you're entertaining you can have your guests in the living room and they can use the bathroom but they can't enter your bedroom just make sure to close off those blinds for the japanese soaking tub something to be said about having two bathrooms in your room so this one is special in that it's not just a powder room but there's a whole shower in here so we could both get ready at the same time in separate bathrooms it was perfect Yes, this room also has an empty fridge, which we filled up. Note the beers. Where's the Modelo? This is a really great space to entertain people if you want to have friends over. Like the other room, you can close the bedroom off, but you have a full bathroom, this whole living room area, the little dining place, and then there is a separate exit onto the terrace from this room. one bedroom suite had the Japanese soaking tub with the views of the strip I actually preferred this bathroom it was enormous I liked the shower I felt like the shower in the other room was just too open and it felt cold because the water pressure wasn't good enough it was just too open and the air got cold but I really loved this bathroom in the terrace suite pretty much the exact same view from each of the rooms since they were only a floor apart and a couple of doors down. Either way, this is a spectacular view. Just for the view alone, I highly recommend coming to Cosmopolitan and trying to get a view like this. 
So if you're considering a stay at the Cosmopolitan, I hope that this video helped you out in choosing your room type. I really encourage you to stay here if you're able to at least once in your lifetime. So that's all we have for today. Leave a comment below and let me know which room you prefer. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that bell notification so that you're alerted when we go live or when we drop a new video. See you next time.